Hello, good day, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm Kabooster78 with you here, as always. This is episode 33, and let's begin. And yes, this is the LP where the points don't matter. That's right, the points in this game are just like the Swiss Navy. They don't matter. And yeah, I took that word by word completely verbatim right from the wiki quotes website. I actually looked that up because I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, check out some of the stuff that Drew Carey has said. Uh, and most of it is very dated. <laughs> like, uh, there was one talking about Richard Simmons' wife. You know, well, uh, where the points don't matter. Just like, uh, Richard Simmons' wife, they don't exist. Or Mrs. Richard Simmons, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we're doing cutscenes. Let's go. Let's do this! Yeah, Beast Castle! In a completely unrelated note, uh... The Beast happens to be the furry one in the Beauty and the Beast, and not the sexy one. Uh, apparently that's Belle, I did not understand that, and I just had the hey, feeling I wasn't really recording. Yeah. It felt like I was just talking, and then I wasn't actually lonely, recording and people would be watching this. I wonder who lives here. Huh. Well, oh my god, vibrations of the butthole. Rumble setting. Hey, intense. Does anybody else recognize that? <sighs> Oh my hey, word. That's the beast. Asshole. Maybe we should check up on him. Very rude of you. Oh god, it's sneaky. <laughs> oh uh so yeah, guess what I did the uh, last night? I uh I did two things actually, and they both are the same. But uh, of course we gotta look at the sex of the intro, the beast's castle. Very nice, with some flowers and some windows of a castle. Yes, yes, mm, yes, delicious, yes, mm. And anywho, I beat the Neverhood the other day, so I have the Neverhood beaten, I have Skull Monkeys beaten. Now all I need to do is find Boom Bots and unlock Clayman and I will be fulfilled. And I need to get a Japanese point of gun hockey, but that's not gonna happen. Anyway. What the hell was that about, Donald? You a zombie? Yeah, anywho, along with beating the Neverhood, which, ugh, was amazing, beating the Neverhood. Like, it's one thing to watch a Let's Play of the Never. like, that's the thing. There's one thing to watch, like, watch a Let's Play, like, yes, they're fun, and of course it's enjoyable to listen to the commentary and so on and so forth, but actually playing the game, I don't know, to me it has such a different feeling, like, I saw the ending of, um, of, uh, Skull Monkeys. And it just, it didn't feel as special in the, in the like, the German Let's Play I saw, compared to when I actually beat it and watched it. You know, I don't know, it just felt a lot different. Watching stuff on, like, your computer is a lot different than, on, like, watching on your TV. I think that's more of just, like, not so much in, like, anything else besides, like, Let's Plays and video games. I think it's just a, sen a more of a sense of accomplishment, like, I did that. And I did it basically, well... I was about to say all by myself, but that's completely untrue because I used the level skip cheat a billion, uh, in the very, all the last levels because those things were hard as hell. Those things were really hard. I can't believe the German guy actually beat him. Like, I give him props. Whatever props is in German, I give that guy. But yeah, so, I beat that. And, oh, come on, enough already. I read basically almost all of the Hall of Records. I did a bit of skipping around, but still, I read almost all of the Hall of Records. Uh, and if you do know what the Hall of Records is, that, at least to me, it seems like a very big feat. Like, that is a... That's a lot of reading to do. Just and time. you'll see in my, uh... My upcoming LP of the Neverhood... Oh, <laughs> Damn, be oh god damn beast, you're being a monster right now. Ah, he's a beast. Something's wrong. Anywho. See so yeah, I read that and you will see in my upcoming Ulp of the Neverhood, because it is mandatory to walk through the entire Hall of Records. Um and I actually timed it. And it takes exactly 3 minutes and 38 seconds to walk from one end to the other. So it's like 7 minutes total, which is ridiculous. That's ho it was so this bad. Heart was around. It Something must be up. Very long. <laughs> and that's as fast as you could possibly go, too. The way I did it, at least. Like, the moment the screen changes, I clicked. 
Alrighty, so, as you can see, there was cutscenes and stuff happened, as always. Let's go to the Moogle! Or, yeah, Moogle's right. Buy, new stuff to buy. The Sardonyx Ring and the Silver Ring. And we have 800 money, so we probably should buy something soon, but we will save first. So we do not have to worry about the cutscenes again. You always want to save. Because then when you save, if you go into the world map and you have to come back to, like, Beast's Castle, wherever you've saved, if there's an area you haven't saved in, it won't acknowledge that, and it's not a place, like, like you can land, like, you can you could start here. If that makes sense. I don't know. Well, we, synth we synthesized shit, and so now we'll buy something. Uh, that is assuming I have a space for it. Well, let's check this. Got some new stock. We got the Hidden Dragon. That's a new Keyblade. Uh, you can change it here, and I think I'm going to do that right now. We'll change you to Hidden Dragon, and let's see, three. But what do you do? A Keychain increases defense at critical moments, increases maximum combo by one midair. We'll use that. You'll become the Kingdom Key. Yeah. Wait. Restores magic power relative to the amount of damage taken. Nah, I'd just rather have the kingdom key. Uh, we only have one spot for sec accessories. So we'll buy one, and then I guess I'll give someone else something. Oh, we have new stuff. Alright, so unleashes a powerful leaping attack on targets mid-air. Very useful. Aerial recovery, we've already gone through that. So let's, let's equip that. I don't know why I manually equipped it. Goofy Turbo. Might as well, if it's available. Check our journal. What well, checking to do? So we got Beast. When the Beauty and the Beast 1991. Hey! Sora, Donald, Goofy, yada yada yada. And we shall go to Story. Just a paragraph, not reading any of that. I hope you, I hope you guys know that I won't be reading any of that. You guys can, like, pause it or some shit, I don't know. The Emperor is old and sexy. More story. And we're good. Album. Mushu and Ping. Mushu Avalanche. Mulan. China's bravest. Yeah, China's bravest represent, motherfucker. Gambo attacks. Mulan Dragon Blade. We have 46 hits with that. And we're good. So, um. Well. Nah. Alright, let's go buy something. Um, definitely, we'll buy, we'll buy one of these, so now we'll go into here, items, yada yada yada, and so who doesn't have one, who would I rather give one to, Goofy, so no, uh, they make this very unnecessary, actually I just made it more unnecessary than it had to be, alright, so, it's good. We're all good. Check out our new sexy Keyblade. Although it's not my favorite. My favorite is by far the uh, pumpkin one, but you'll learn about that later, won't you? <laughs> so let's continue. More. What is that? Or what is it? I don't know. I just saw a lady at the top of those stairs. Hmm. Who's that lady? Well. If the beast is here in the castle, that lady must be Belle, right? Yeah, maybe so. Belle might even know what's happened to the beast, too. Come on, let's go find her. Nod our heads. And stroke our chin. Our chinny chin chin. Do do do. Ooh, we got new stuff. Um, they're bats. Not much else. Go, there's a treasure. Oh, more bats. Okay. Also, a chin 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 statement. 1,000! A oh, nice level up. 1,000 points, if you know where that's from. I think I'm trying to, you know, push that. I'm really pushing that. Where the hell did the treasure just go? I enjoy saying it, uh, but you know, I don't want to be pushing anything. I don't want to try and, like, make a catchphrase for myself. I just tend to say it a lot, so, I mean, I might as well say it whenever. Juno. Now, we could go explore. Or we could look at the time. We still have a minute. Alright. Uh. No. 
we'll just go. We'll go over here. Yeah. Sounds like a smart thing to do because that's the direction of which the camera was panned when they were talking about the lady upstairs. Aha, and we trick a cutscene. Probably really stupid, seeing as how we're at the 10 minute mark here. Go Shut up. So. Stalling very much so, and um, I'm Kabusha78. Oh, and you'll have to find out what was in that room in the next episode. Adios.